As a quality improvement initiative, our organization has launched a Just and Accountable Culture campaign. The term Just Culture refers to our efforts as an organization to be fair and just with all of our employees. Our commitment is not to seek blame. Rather, in a just culture, we accept our fallibility as humans. We seek to be fair and work with you as our employee to be better. We want to work with you to develop a culture where learning and justice coexist to the benefit of you as an employee, but also to the benefit of our customers and our organization. Our ability to manage risk, whether that risk is to life or to property, is dependent upon the quality of the systems we design and the quality of the choices that we make. Expecting perfection all the time is not reasonable. We are fallible. We're going to make mistakes. It is important that we learn from our mistakes at the individual level and at an organizational level. Implementing a just and accountable culture is a big step towards creating the environment for that learning by changing our ideas about what we can expect of each other and about how and when we hold each other accountable for the choices we make. The lessons of a just and accountable culture are applicable to every walk of life. It supports a set of ideas that should influence how we respond to the fallibility of our colleagues. In the workplace, just culture is more than a concept. It is a commitment. It is the commitment that we, as your employer, make to you. The commitment as to how you will be treated when things do not go as planned. As an employee, there are two types of systems in which you will act. Systems that the organization designs within which you operate and systems which you design in order to produce an outcome the organization expects. Let me begin with the first type of system. By accepting a position at Harris Health System, you have agreed to align your behaviors to the expectations we set out through your job description and our policies. For example, adhere to the code of conduct and service first principles. In general, we work to ensure the safety of others, refrain from harassing behaviors, follow the procedures, do the right thing. It is this last one that is the center of the just and accountable culture. Every organization has a mission. Here at Harris Health System, our mission is to improve the health of those most in need in Harris County through quality care delivery, coordination of care, and education. Most organizations also express values it does not want to harm or diminish in the pursuit of its mission. Here at Harris Health, our spouse values are our patients, staff and partners, diversity and inclusion, compassionate care, trust, integrity, mutual respect, communication, education, research, and innovation. Just Culture is about creating a culture where you as an employee are encouraged and supported in doing the right thing so that we as an organization do not compromise our values or the values of our customers, community, or employees in pursuit of our mission. It is these shared values as employees, as neighbors, as citizens that inform us on what it means to do the right thing. When you are here working at Harris Health, most often we will have designed the systems within which we expect you to function. As an organization, we will write policies, create expectations, duties, if you will, that are intended to align our values and missions and help guide every employee in choosing to do the right things. Policies guide us, employees and management alike, in our everyday work. It is our expectation that you know the policies and use these policies or seek guidance from a member of management to inform you about what Harris Health considers the right choice. That being said, we are left again with our inherent weakness as humans. We fully expect that you as an employee will make mistakes. We fully expect that when faced with competing values and demands, that sometimes you will even make bad choices. It's part of our humanity. In the Just and Accountable Culture model, when functioning in employer-designed systems, we speak to three core behaviors, human error, at-risk behavior, and reckless behavior. Human error is the inadvertent mistake, a slip or a lapse, which we do not intend. We do not choose to make mistakes, but they happen to us at a rate influenced by the robustness of the systems we have designed around us and the personal choices we make in those systems. At-risk behavior is a choice we make where the risk of harm, whether to persons or property, is unjustifiably increased, yet we incorrectly convince ourselves that the risk is justified or we simply do not perceive there is a risk at all. It is an at-risk behavior choice. Reckless behavior, lastly, is a choice to knowingly take a substantial and unjustifiable risk. It is, by definition, the conscious disregard of a substantial and unjustifiable risk of harm. 
When things do not go as planned, how you will be treated in this organization will depend upon how your behaviors and behavioral choices fit with these definitions. When working within systems designed by Harris Health, our commitment to you is this. The consequential actions will depend on the type of behavioral choice. If you make a human error mistake, you will be consoled. There will be no disciplinary action for a human error, regardless of the severity of harm that resulted. We will want to learn from your error to assess the performance shaping factors or system designs and help prevent others from repeating the same error. We will want you to learn from your error for the same reasons. To this end, we will expect you to be forthcoming and honest in your reporting of the error. Disciplinary action will have no role in our response to a human error, a simple human mistake. When you are observed drifting into an at-risk behavior, you will be coached. Coaching is not disciplinary action. Coaching is a conversation about risks versus rewards of a particular behavioral choice. Managers will be instructed to coach employees that begin to drift into risky choices. Like human error, disciplinary action will play no role in the correction of a singular at-risk behavior. Lastly, the reckless behavior, in contrast, will expose you as an employee to possible disciplinary action. Reckless behavior will be found when you make a choice to take an unjustifiable risk that you recognized and chose to disregard. When you choose a reckless act, you make the choice to put yourself in harm's way, to subject yourself to disciplinary action, up to and including termination of your employment. Remember, it's called the Just and Accountable Culture. It's not about creating expectations that we can be perfect. It is, though, about holding each other accountable for the quality of our choices. That being said, there will be times when repeated multiple instances of error or at-risk behaviors will then need to be addressed by the organization. If you exhibit an unusually high rate of human error, we will search for the system cause and help you find improved behavior choices to reduce the rate of human error. If we cannot help you reduce the rate of mistakes, we may have to take action to remove you from a position of potential harm. When at-risk behaviors become repetitive, we will take action to understand their underlying causes. If you as an employee are continuing to make at-risk behavior choices after being coached and after any significant system contributions have been addressed, coaching will turn to counseling and follow the progressive disciplinary process, not just termination, to aid you in responding appropriately to the risk in our environment. This conversion from coaching to counseling will occur when we see that your behavior evidences the fact that you are knowingly choosing not to align your behavior with the expectations of the organization. In our commitment to you, we assert a duty upon ourselves as your leader that human error, at-risk behavior, and reckless behavior will be seen as qualitatively different behaviors. Human errors will be counseled, at-risk behaviors will be coached, reckless behaviors will face disciplinary action, regardless of whether harm was caused or not. We have adopted this commitment to a just and accountable culture because we believe that accountability lies with the quality of our choices, not the triumph or tragedy of the outcome that our choices produce. Again, these expectations are simultaneously aligned with creating a more open learning culture. They are aligned with creating a more open and trusting reporting culture. We cannot create optimal outcomes if we cannot organizationally and individually learn from our mistakes. Also, we cannot create optimal outcomes if we do not hold each other accountable for our behavioral choices related to the workplace. On the positive side, when we witness members of our community improving upon errors, being forthcoming in reporting, learning from coaching and acting in a way that meets the expectations of the organization and promotes doing the right thing, it will be leadership's pleasure to issue accolades, praise, and recognition for your adaptability in embracing a just culture, in embracing a learning culture, and accepting the challenge to help us better. In a just and accountable culture, it is possible that even the most terrible of human errors could result in an accolade if we see that you as an employee are being accountable, honest, forthcoming, and acting in a way that supports the mission and values of Harris Health. As your employer, leaders, 
the stewards of our organization's mission and values, we ask you to please do the right thing. We would hope that you do this being guided by our policies and procedures, which are designed to align the work we do with regulatory requirements and with our shared values. If ever our procedures do not match our shared values and you feel caught between doing the right thing and following a rule ill-suited to the circumstances at hand, it is doing the right thing that should guide you. We also ask that you bring these situations to the attention of leadership so that we can assist you in making the choice or we can best understand how and why you made your choice in a critical situation and work to improve the choices you and others are faced with in the future. There are also times when you as an employee have a duty to the organization for which you create the system to meet the expectation and then act within the system of your own creation. Getting to work on time is a good example. We, as your employer, do not tell you how to get to work on time, only that you do get to work on time. Under these limited circumstances, we do not seek to assess your choices. You must do this on your own. Under these circumstances, the recognition of human error, at-risk behavior, and even reckless behavior sits with you. You must design your system and control your choices to create the outcomes you've been asked to produce. As an employer, in situations where you, the employee, have been asked to produce an outcome, our commitment to you is that we will let you know the acceptable rate of failure, that is, how good your system must be. For example, here at Harris Health System, you can be tardy at a rate of five times per year before facing consequences. Perfection is not a reasonable expectation, and it is not the expectation that we have for you. You will sometimes be late to work. We therefore set the expectation when to be here, and the necessary rate of compliance, or how many times it is okay to be late. You as an employee are accountable for the results. You will know very specifically when this is the nature of your work, and if you have questions, it's okay to ask. The Just and Accountable culture is about making a commitment to you as an employee. We know that we cannot expect perfection from our employees. We can, however, create optimal outcomes from those we serve by designing ever-improving work systems and having the expectations that we all come to work poised to do the right thing all the time. This commitment to you around having a just culture is part of our effort to continuously improve. It is about doing the right thing for you as our employee. It is about doing the right thing for those whom we serve. We are eager to begin this journey with you as an employee and with the members of your leadership team. As we progress, I ask that you remember that all humans, even your leadership, can make errors. So if you feel at any time that we are not meeting our commitment to you, we welcome a respectful conversation to understand your perspective so that we may all continue to grow and improve. We thank you for your time, both today for this video and for each day you come to work prepared and able to serve our community in the best way possible. Together with the creation of a just and accountable culture and a learning culture, we believe that we can accomplish even greater things. We make this commitment to you and we thank you for entering into this commitment with us at Harris Health System. 